Hello, and welcome to another edition of uh, Beehive Integrations, where we are going to cover how to integrate Beehive uh, forms with Webflow so you can start collecting subscribers from your Webflow website. At the end of this video, you will be able to deploy a Beehive embedded form on a Webflow website, as well as deploy the Beehive attribution helper script on the Webflow website. So let's jump into it. The first step is to have your Beehive publication ready to go. So once you've set up your account, we're going to go to settings over to subscribe forms. You'll either create a new form or view an existing form. Uh, we're going to view one that I created before. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use the slim embed. However, depending on the design of your site, you could absolutely use the fixed width or full width versions as well. So uh, the first step is going to be to copy this code and jump over to your Webflow editor. So I've already gone ahead and done this. So you can see we've created an HTML embed block nested within the site structure. You're going to, need to go into the code editor and we're just going to copy and paste that iframe that we copied over from Beehive and we'll save and close. Now, once you've done that, you can see that the uh, form is there. Now there's one more step to make sure that we're collecting all of the pertinent attribution information about users coming to our site. Uh, for example, if you're running Facebook ads, making sure that we're collecting the source medium campaign, whatever other UTM parameters are being passed through. And we're going to do that by going back to Beehive and we're going to copy this attribution tracking script and jump back over here, go to project settings. I already have it pulled up. And then once you get to the product settings, you're gonna to go to custom code. Once you scroll down, you'll see that there's this section for footer code where we can add code before the closing body tag. We're just gonna paste the script that we had copied over from the previous step right here and save changes. From here, once we've added the code to our site and we've added the attribution script in the settings, we can publish our uh, publication, the Webflow site, uh, and then if we go to the front end site, it'll look something like this in this example. Uh, this is how it looks. You can put in an email address and then hit subscribe. I'm not gonna do that here because I've already done this once, but you can see up in the window, I added some test UTM parameters when I hit subscribe. And now when we go back to Beehive, we can navigate to subscribers and this, you can see this email here. Uh, it's going to have the source and the medium that were defined in the URL. And so we can then use those to track where we're getting our signups from. So for example, if the source was tagged as Facebook and the medium was CPC indicating a paid ad, um, you would see Facebook CPC here. Otherwise, if somebody comes directly to the site, as I did in these previous tests, you'll see direct embed or sorry, direct and none. Uh, and then this embed section right here uh, covers that it came through an embedded form. For more about our attribution tracking, we have a whole video where we describe uh, how to, we set that up and, and how to make best use of that. Um, but from here, you should be good to go in terms of setting up uh, the tracking on your website. If you wanted it to look different with you know a full length form or a fixed width form, um, you would have your designer or yourself uh, basically change the design of the Webflow site uh, in this case, if you used a full length form, it would probably be too small because the full width form would take up just the size, the width of this lowest element. So um, this is presuming, you know, you're, you're working in Webflow and you're pretty well versed. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and we can answer them the best we can in terms of specific cases and uh, challenges that you may come across. Thank you so much for watching this video. We look forward to growing with you. Have a great day.